Hello guys, Aspenaar. I'm out on a run today and today I just want to test the DJI Action 2 running. I'm filming in 4K60. It's 25 degrees in Norway, so it's pretty hot. And I also want to see if this camera overheat with my use. Of course, you normally don't film in long clips. And I'm probably not going to do that today, but I'm going to use it as I do with my GoPro Hero 10 and just see if this system works for action sports or running like this. If you only use the main camera, it's no problem at all because it's waterproof. But when you use the screen module, I just want to see if the system holds together because one issue I already noticed is the camera is pretty top heavy with the magnetic system uh, I just want to see if it holds together and of course I'm gonna get sweat as hell and the screen module isn't waterproof so I just want to see if the camera is usable in conditions like this you can't use the screen module if it's raining so that's bad and you only get 22 gigabytes of recording using the camera module so that's a little bit disappointing but I just want to see if it's possible to use but it's not raining but I already feel that the camera is too top heavy and I don't feel that uh, the camera module system will hold together if I'm running with the camera and filming something we just have to wait and see and test it so let's keep going Okay guys, we're 1k in. So far everything is okay with the Action 2. I'm using Horizon Balancing, uh, but I still feel that the camera is too top heavy, the mounting system. So I really hope it holds together. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna make a conclusion when we're done with the run, but the GoPro Hero 10 is excellent for running. Uh, and you, the whole pack is waterproof so you don't have to care about that but I just have to wait and see how it feels but every time I jump or do something I feel that the camera module is going to slip from the screen module so we're going to run a couple of kilometers more uh, I usually uh, don't film so much while running I feel myself <laughs> running but not holding the camera only passing through so let's see how it goes but the, the image quality is really good on the Action 2 but if I fall then it's a quite a big possibility that you're gonna crack the lens and you can't replace it as you can with the GoPro Hero Town. Let's just see how it is and keep going. Okay guys, we're 2K in. It works fine so far. But I still think the camera is too top heavy uh, for running. But uh, just have to make a conclusion when we're done with the run. But uh, I hope the image looks okay. And no overheating issues yet. But that's normally no problem when you shoot in, in short clips. But it's hot today and I'm sweating. And the sun cream is in my eyes and that's annoying. But how is the stabilization? Whew. Should be good. I 
let's keep going. Okay guys, we're 3k in. Nice to run today. The weather is so beautiful, but it's extremely warm. So I'm sweating. That's all right. <laughs> Testing the action too. As a trail running camera, I usually use the GoPro Hero 10, which is all waterproof and I'm not afraid of it. The action too is much more fragile. That's for sure. So hopefully I don't fall or the mounting system fall apart. That's the weakness, I think. So we just have to wait and see. So let's keep going. Okay, guys, we're nearly at 4K. It's uphill and rocky as hell here, but we just have to wait and see how the footage looks on the Action 2. Uh, I have some opinions, we're gonna discuss that pretty soon. Close to 4k now and the total length of this trail is 5. The last stretch is at on asphalt so I'm not gonna record that but let's sit down and discuss this camera a little bit. We need to do that. Okay guys, we've just been out filming with the Action 2. I run uh, a trail in, uh, the trail is 4K, but the total length is 5K. I'm gonna do the last stretch without filming. But I wanna talk a little bit about my experience with the Action 2 running with it. This is the first time I use it with running, especially in my hand. And uh, there are some pros and also some cons. Um, the pros with this camera, I think, is uh, I know that the stabilization is really, really good on the Action 2. The option to change the field of view, pretty easy. Today I was only shooting in 4K60 horizon balancing, which also is great while running to keep the horizon locked. Um, and in many ways, uh, I think that uh, the normal color profile is one of the best you can have on any action camera with the Action 2. It looks good, the colors are accurate, and, uh, and uh, yeah, it just looks good. But there are also some cons with this camera. And for me that actually is the modular system. When I'm using the screen module with the camera module, I don't feel that the system is secure enough, and that's a con for me. Especially when you're out running and uh, it's easy to fall and you're not quite sure that the system holds together rock solid. And of course also a con is that the whole system isn't waterproof. That's no problem today when it's dry. But if you fall with this camera and you drop it, uh, the only thing that are uh, waterproof is the, modular, no, the camera module. So that's a con for me too. And also con is that you can't replace the lens. You can get some kind of lens cover for the Action 2. I don't have that. So if anybody out there wanna send me something, please do that. And I think also a con for me is that if you're using the Action 2 in rain and only using the camera module, you only have 22 gigabytes and that's too little. Uh, of course you can charge it on the go, but then you have to dry up the camera module if it's wet before you attach it to the screen or power module. So that's a con. So I think uh, on my next ones I'm going to only use the GoPro Hero 10. I'm going to test it more, I haven't seen the footage yet. I'm going to compare it another day with the GoPro Hero 10 side by side while running. And just see and compare the footage, the stabilization. But for me, an action camera needs to be waterproof. That's the main thing with an action camera. 
Of course the footage looks, needs to look good, but uh, waterproof is so important, especially if you're doing action spots. So um, if you have any comments on this video, uh, leave a comment down below. I love this camera, it's excellent, but I think it, it's best for blogging and travels, not as an action sports camera. But it's small, but it's a little too top heavy in my opinion. I wish you can put it vertical and have some kind of mounting system, then it would be better and better balanced. So comment down below and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumb up and I'll see you on the next one.